हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय कंप्यूटर साइंस क्लास सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू चैप्टर चार्ट्स इन एम एस एक्सएल एंड दिस इज योर फोर्थ चैप्टर फ्रॉम क्लास सेवन कंप्यूटर साइंस बुक आई टी प्लान सो स्टूडेंट्स एज वी से दैट अ पिक्चर इज वर्थ अ थाउजेंड वर्ड्स सो अ चार्ट इज वर्थ ऑफ अ थाउजेंड सेट्स ऑफ डेटा लाइक if uh, you have uh, you if you have to um, describe something and you, uh, you you will take some time but if a picture is in front of you what will happen you can analyze it in a better way in the same way if you have a data uh, say a large set of data you will take a few hours to understand that data but if the same data is in a form of a chart or in a form of picture what will happen you will you can visualize it better you can analyze it better so that is why charts are there in ms excel because in ms excel we study or analyze data so now charts are pictorial representation of data so what is a chart a chart is a, a data in the form of a picture so a chart is a visual representation we can say that it is a visual representation of data in both columns and rows now microsoft excel offers a wide selection of charts which help you us to use your, the data in a pictorial way so in case of excel we have a number of charts from which you can select a chart as per your requirement now why charts why charts are helpful because charts help us to make instant decision based on the comparison of numbers it helps us to analyze and evaluate the worksheet conveniently like you can see this is a pie chart so uh, this type of chart we have studied in case of um, our different type of nutrients so um, we have seen that we um, in case of a balanced diet we should eat carbohydrates protein vitamins minerals water roughage so we can assume it as a um, chart of um, our requirement of daily nutrients so this is if this is carbohydrate this is protein this is vitamins this is minerals this is water this is fiber so you will be able to understand it in a better way that i require almost 40% of my data should be carbohydrates and uh, almost 40% of data or 35% of data uh, of your daily uh, uh, food should contain proteins similarly 30% should be vitamins but if it is written in data that you should take 230 grams of um proteins and 450 grams of um, this particular carbohydrate then what will happen you will get confused but if you have picture like this what will happen you will get a clear cut idea now as compared to simple presentations charts are more attractive and appealing so we can analyze if chart is there we can analyze our data in a better way we can evaluate the worksheet conveniently and apart from that that they are more attractive and appealing they are more attractive they are colorful and uh, if you are uh, explaining something to someone what will happen he will be more um, involved in your presentation if uh, you have more of pictures so we have an insert tab and in the insert tab we can choose the different uh, chart types like the column chart line chart pie chart bar chart area and scatter chart we'll discuss all these types later now you can create dozens of different charts in excel from pie chart to bar chart but there are few important um terms like data series what is a data series it is the foundation of any chart in the worksheet data you use to create data series is the content of group of related cells such as one row or one column so like if um, you have your half yearly marks or uh, marks of a particular subject so that particular column like marks 
and your marks of English and the whole column is a single data series. In the same way, um, marks of the other subject is a single data series or if you um, transpose it, that means if you go to your row, so your half yearly marks of all the subject make one data series. Let me explain with the help of an example. So if we observe this table, so this row is one data series. This is laptop and the data, this is another data series. Monitors and this data, these are another data series. Or if you we consider the columns, so this column 2012 is a data series. Then in the year 2013 is other data series. So like these, these are the different data series. Now next is data objects. The charts are made up of various elements. All these elements, the different elements of a chart are called data objects. Now next is customized charts. You can customize any chart you create in Excel. You can use the different formatting options like the color change, the font change, the design, the pattern. You can change everything and you can customize your charts. Now, advantages, advantages of chart. What are the different advantages of chart? So first, first and the most important advantage because of that Excel created chart is it is much easier to understand. So first is it is easier to understand. Then second is with the help of a chart, data and information can be presented in an attractive manner. So whenever we are giving a presentation, we want that it should be attractive and all the uh, audience should uh, be focused what you are explaining to uh, them. So for that, it should be attractive and of course, charts make your data attractive. And third point is as compared to a simple data statement, a chart is more impressive and informative. So, if you are giving a simple uh, data statement that um, in that this particular year the sale was this, then in 2013 the sale of monitors was this much, then in the year next year it increased. So, it will be uh, a little boring, but if you are explaining it uh, through a chart, it will be more impressive, the increase and decrease of the sale is quite visible and you can even uh, show the minor details of your data using the charts and it is more informative. In lesser time, you can give more information using a chart. So these were the different advantages of charts.